right, what up everybody? Uh, so, kind of a bummer. Uh, last night's stream ended with a power flicker. And uh, it happened in the middle of the third fight of a series of fights in which we could not save in between. Save was cut off. So for the recap, we were going to, we woke up in the Shattered Heart Domain, all scrambled and in disarray. We were looking to find Laddie, ran into a heart memory of her mom, who kind of was walking us around, felt kind of pointless because she wasn't telling us much, just a, I think I can trust my daughter to you kind of thing. Then we got to the spire, which looked very Persona-esque. Um, <clears throat> she was like, Laddie's in there, you gotta save her. And then her heart memory of grief came out to fight with the mom to stop the shadows that were outside. So we go in, we find Laddie, and we're going through the spire. We see, you know, memories of her young self wanting to be a good maiden and protecting people. Um, then we find the altar where the heart memories of all the maidens and attendants we've helped so far exist. So we could pick who we wanted to go on our journey to help continue fighting. And we ran into Lack. Um, Laddie still believed that Lack could be uh, a positive force and that we could help. So we chose not to fight and ask what we could do. Lack was like, there's nothing you can do because here's the scoop. You know, all the time we are in a search century cycle of maidens needing to sacrifice their lives to the spirits. And then the spirits have to sacrifice their life force, which they partially get from the maidens, to protect the islands that they serve. Lack wants to stop that cycle by having Laddie be the home and refuge for every spirit, um, which would therefore leave all humans doomed because there's no there's no spirit to sacrifice to to protect the islands. So the Isle Eater or whatever other calamities would befall to mortals, which would still mean they would end up dying anyway because Laddie couldn't survive in a world like that forever, right? So, I mean, either it's the island sinking or they have to constantly fight the Isle Eater over and over. But anyway, Lack didn't want to hear it. It was like, all right, you know, we'll fight you, but all of the other spirit, uh, heart domain maidens and attendants came in and blocked the attack. Lack was like, all right, well, I guess we're fighting then. It turns into this big giant monster. And it's now known as the Spirit Sovereign. And that's absorbed and shows the spirits of all of the four Stelas, the Onyx Spirit, the Ivory Spirit, the Azure Spirit, and the Crimson Spirit. And before we can get to Lack, we have to beat all of those spirits. So we fought the Onyx Spirit first, and for each spirit that you fight, you fight their correspond you fight with their corresponding attendant and maiden. So first was the Onyx Spirit, so we got Queenie and Ide. Then it was the uh, uh, Crimson Spirit, so we got uh, Novia and Gladio. Then the next one was going to be a double fight with the Azure Spirit and the Ivory Spirit. But they changed it up on us. And both sets of Maidens and Attendants charge, saying the fight is ours, so Laddie and us can go to fight Lack. The problem being is that then we do that fight against both of those spirits with Fila, Hyde, Lanka, and Krim. And that makes the fight extremely tough because we don't have any of our legendary gear that we've been saving up. We don't have our skills set up that we had. All we have is the skills that they come with and the stats the game gives them and our items. And so we were doing the fight, 
that the ivory spirit is the hardest part she keeps doing a really strong lightning attack that burns their items to heal hyde was killing it with the poison at first but then in the very crucial parts at the end he missed three he missed three times in a row trying to land poison we finally got the azure spirit down and then we were trying to get the ivory spirit down got the ivory spirit down to 50 something health or something like that pretty low we were going to kill it very soon and then my power blipped but it was so late i couldn't come back to the stream and it was still snowing i didn't know if my power was going to go out again and having to do that almost hour long fights with power potentially going out again i just wasn't feeling so we'll be starting here starting at those fights against all of the spirits again hopefully we do as well as last night with the first two spirits and then can do better on the third fight and then maybe we'll finish this game up hopefully in like an hour or so and then maybe start Isle of Dragon. so that's where we're at yo boo bear what is up how's it going man it's good to see you to be the final one of your journey. I'm assuming on the last fight, and within that darkness, let's skip all this because we already saw it. A giant shade. I'm assuming the last fight will have the island. Uh, my name is Lack, and as the spirit, Lack's I mom. shall see the wishes of my brethren fulfilled. And so, even though we can't save between battles, Laddie's mom will heal us after light. every fight, Be which is nice. Careful, Laddie's parents implore, as they see you off to the final battle. I'm gonna fight him in the same order. We'll do the Onyx Spirit first. Shrouded in darkness and exuding bitter cries ring. We too understand the pain of losing your home. That means With the again. Onyx Maiden and her attendant at your side, you ready your weapons. So the problem with the Azure fight, the Azure Ivory fight, is we don't have good gem generation. Because Prim is our generator and she does not go first. Which makes that fight harder. We doesn't do light damage, so it doesn't matter. Neither do them. They. He does. But that is problematic. These fights are definitely fully about gym management. Hoping you get lucky crits. Hey, that's good.
Wow, exactly enough to kill her. That's Yikes. ridiculous. Well, this is already starting off worse than the first time we did this. save all of these healing items for the Azure and Ivory fight we now know. So, to make this kind of tricky. They're gonna have to just generate gems. He's gonna hit us with a group attack, probably. That means I'll have to use a quality Omnisav. Oh, he's gonna just kill her. Man. This is really not a good start. We just don't have the defense to stop that. We can literally do nothing about it. Nothing at all. Just keep having him star fall and hope he just crits every single time. No crit though. That's not good at all. It's the last thing we needed. Defense down, not done yet. That's why they keep dying to the attack, because his defense down is just like. Oh, wait, he just hit us with it. Ugh. I'm eating these way faster than I want to because I'm trying to think while I play. We are just losing people way too fast. Last time I think we lost people twice. Losing them three times is just kind of unacceptable. Can I win? Can I win without reviving him? I really don't want to have to use a third and spirit elixir. tell anyone. <laughs> I can't buff, I won't have enough gems. That's helpful. Fortune favors the bold. No. Okay. Thank goodness. Why weren't you doing that more often before? And failing the rule. How you been, Boo Bear? So we can... we win this turn as long as Gromp doesn't die here. It's just half her. Do 
a heavier attack just in case. Magnificent. Okay. Why wasn't he doing that more often? At least that wouldn't kill. What are these attacks he's doing out of nowhere? Jerk. <laughs> so rude. Hit your stride again, so that's nice. Got a nice bonus from work from Jobs Pass. And did some fun shopping. That's awesome. Glad to hear things are going well. On two spirit elixir or in spirit elixirs. Now we fight the crimson guy. A skeletal knight shambles forth from the shadows. Hear the long deep sigh. You shall be cut down by our hand. The crimson maiden shouts. She and the crimson attendant square up beside you ready to face down this dastardly foe. Okay. Forgot what attacks this guy does. I know he does a group fire attack. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I know he is resistant to fire attacks as well. I think we just taunt with Gladio. He can't do a whole lot. Uh, there was one move I was going to have him do because last time I had them do their group move and that was a waste. So, and they're extremely uber mega duper slow. And he's just got defense out the wazoo. Um, we were relying on bisecting blade. She landed every roll except for two. This sucks because she has to heal herself here or she'll die. Wait. If he hits her with the other 35 attack, that she'd still die. I have to heal with the Supreme Sav. It's kind of lame. That's alright. We should still have plenty for the next fight. Which then lets him use Starfall. And then lets her use her bisecting blade. Crit here, please. gonna heal him. I'm just not going to. I'm gonna have him generate gems. It's okay if he dies. Like it's not great, but I'm okay with it. So much defense, y'all have to crit to do something. Like, it really comes down to her bisecting blade to really just kind of carry us. Okay. Crit. Uh oh. Okay, he failed. That was close. 
So then this fight went way better than last time. Way better. Except for this. This sucks. That's really not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. See, if we would have had crits those other turns, this would be dead. Now what I need is this to land, and then he's dead. Please. I just need a three or higher. Alright, cool. Easy. And no one died. Oh, because he resisted, it didn't do 25. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh. That's funny. Whatever, man. He can't even hurt anyone here. I forgot that it's fire damage, so he can still resist and it's not a kill. <laughs> That's so dumb. Starfall will kill here, though. That's not a big deal. Still easy. Err. It was a little bit more challenging last night. So that's good. At least we got back to the fight we needed to get to very quickly. Already leveled up. Oh no. An attack? Uh, wait, did she not even get anything last night? Maybe she didn't get anything last night. She either got nothing or she got a defense. Either way, an attack is not good. It's not helpful here. Okay. So. He's dead. Let's get our heal. Still can't save. I bet if we try to leave, they're like, you can't leave. You can't leave until yep. this is all over. You turn to face your friend. Yeah, so we can't exit and save scum. Okay, now for the annoying fight. We have to kill this maiden first, or this spirit first. Her Any lightning plus 10 attack just hurts too much. Way out of the shadows. The Azure Spirit no and that woman clad all in white must be the eye they wail in agony on, for the yes. maidens who sat this is our fight. I still don't understand why they the say they wail in agony for the maidens who sacrificed themselves for their island because you and Lanka and Krim didn't sacrifice themselves on. for the island. They sacrificed themselves for us. Had nothing to do with the island because they had maidens and attendants lined up for days, for generations or whatever, because of are. So it's weird. But now we lose Laddie and Gromph. So uh, now we're stuck with this crew. Uh, and the fight gets awkward. So. I need to save. Like the thing is for her. We need to save gems for this. So I can't even use like this move. I think I just need to. And we can't seal. And he's going to cast a spell to heal himself all the time. I'm just gonna slice this thing and try to kill it that way over time. We gotta focus this thing down though. Um, we tried to do paralysis and we know that failed. So we get a little bit of a leg up in the fact that we know status effects, as it's been in this entire game, don't work on bosses like paralysis. But at least we can be ahead on gems slightly and that might make it a little bit easier. Okay, at least that's a five. The first turn last time it was a nine. We couldn't do crap. Uh, here we are going to, we have extra water damage. I could do this. That'll at least help with the defense up a little bit. Oh wait, you know what, that was stupid. Work. Because I need 
Poison. That was a waste of five gems. Dang it. And the poison didn't even land, so I guess it's okay. So I guess it wasn't stupid, but I really would have preferred the poison to land. I could have saved the five gems for um, heal. Just get any damage I can, even if it's like four at a time. She is just a pain. Lightning attack. Oh. No, not to... Okay, for her it's okay. But that's still not great. I need her to not be paralyzed. So here we go. The, the burning of our items begins now. The tough part, though, is... I need to land poison on here. That probably means she dies and I just wasted a status heal. Yep. Oh, she didn't die. Okay, that's good. That is good. Good yeah. thing that buff wasn't in effect. She would have died. Now we can do this. Resisted it so she didn't die, but she came pretty close. And now we use the Omni Sabs. And what are you gonna attack with? Rain Call? for this turn because it was the extra water damage. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Yep. Okay, let's bring you back. Yo, what up, Nitro? No, my power went out. Right, I had this fight done. I had the Azure Spirit dead, and then this spirit was at like 50 something health. And my power blipped, and so I was like, oh, well, rip. Because it was snowing the entire night, so snow just did what it does and caused the outage. And it saved my gems for her bigger heal. Just stab here. Oh, that's not good. Who is that? You? Oh, come on. Leave Hyde alone, I need him the most. Three gems is fantastic here. Eight. 
I'm gonna click the tech down on this guy. I want poison on this one, and I want him to hit for less. He hits too hard. He's gonna heal all the damage up. I understand that. But I just want him to hit less for right now until I can get this thing killed. fight. Please land this poison. Thank you. Okay. Okay. That's fine. like using this is kind of a waste. Um, let's just do damage. Let's do 12. Oh, it's probably gonna do less. Three. I should have just did a regular attack. <laughs> That's funny. Um, well, let's generate some gems that no. I'm gonna go ahead and use Healing Force, just the top MO. To survive whatever hit we're about to get hit with. Oh, shoot. Dude, that's fine. She resisted. Oh, she can't be paralyzed. That's nice. Of course she fails. <laughs> There's only two numbers she could roll. The 80% chance for that to land. And she still managed to fail it. Resists water, 
So, need to just do a regular attack here. Nice crit. 33. Fortune favors the bull. Really good. Please land the poison. Thank you. We're not out of the woods yet, though. Fortune favors the bull. This thing is still tough. Okay, feel that at least. Uh, but the game is being kind to us to make up for last night. Light damage, so I will hit with this. Sixteen. Hit with this. Crit would have been nice, but twenty is good. Just regular attacks for her, cause the resistance. Seven, that's really nice. Magnificent. You will hit with a regular attack as well. Alright. Group attack? Nope. That's fine. She should be able to survive that. Yep. Easy peasy. Hit for 11 there. So that even negated the heal that it took, so that's good. Extra defense is not good. This is flat damage, so it's okay. It's not great. Have her heal herself here. Good. That's exactly what was needed there. Next turn we have to reapply as poison. I probably should have just tried it this turn, so we didn't lose a turn. In case he fails next time. Freeze, huh? That's not great. But I'm going to let her be, because I think we get the kill here. I don't think we need to use any more items, I think it just dies. Okay, I need more crits or crim I need more crits from you, but that's okay. Uh, um, we're still just gonna do this. Yep, it's dead now for sure. Fortune favors the bold. Does ten damage anyway? So even without the poison, it's dead. Oh what? Oh, it has to land. I thought it. Hmm. I thought it would do the damage even if the poison failed. That was my mistake, I should have just went for the regular attack then. But Krim got the kill. That is fine with me. Hooray. We were on this fight for like 20 minutes last night, it seems, I think. Okay. Just grab them one more time. For no reason at all. And let's go see... The actual Sovereign fight. Oh, that is gross. Lack, you shout your friend's name at the spirit sovereign, though the creature no longer resembles the cuddly plushie you once knew. No choice. Its voice is so powerful that space and time seem to briefly buckle when it speaks. Nevertheless, 
you can hear the hurt in it. Your party tightens their grip on sword and staff alike. The time has come to free your friend of this curse once and for all. Spirit Sovereign is a formidable foe. You will need your friends' help if you are to have any hope of victory. Please pick one. So even in the end, we still don't get to fight with Laddie's mom or breathe. What the heck is this crap? Okay, who do I want for this fight? If we fail because we picked the wrong attendance, I have to do all four fights again. I don't really want to do that. Well, I don't want, I don't want Fila and Hyde. So, there is something to be said about having Hyde because of the poison. That could be clutch. I know for sure I don't want Livia and Gladio. Lanka doesn't help because we can't cast seal. It's, it's going to resist seal. It's going to resist paralysis. And while I'll have, you know, Krim to be able to generate gems and Laddie to be able to generate gems, my only big attack comes from the Starfall because Lanka doesn't really have a huge attack. Lanka also has a big heal too. So it's just like, Try to just out heal any damage that we get dealt to us and slow kill it with slow fall or with star fall. But that just requires so many gems. If we take Queenie and Blight, who well, I always just kind of lean towards. Then it's just trying to hit hard. Queenie hits hard. She seems to crit more than anyone else. With just her regular attack. Uh, I forgot Blight's skills already. I want more some Blight's skills. Oh, he has the Wind Tornado. And then he's got a dark move, single target. He's good for groups. And I need single target damage here. Blight might actually be better. I mean, Hyde might actually be better. Am I really going to use Hyde and Fila here? No, I'm gonna take I'm gonna go with Queenie and Blight. <laughs> I like them the most and Queenie hits hard. Plus hide and feel are slow. Five hundred health, are you kidding me? Thirty six attack? Oh my gosh. Oh no. 40 attack here. That's insane. Yikes. Okay. Yo, what up, Couch Ed? Yeah, more electricity than last time. She can boost our attack. Absolutely necessary. This is so bad. Mm, no. I get rid of that now. No, I can't. I can wait. Nope. I don't mean to do that. I think I'm gonna Starfall anyway. You can get rid of that. 
and then Laddie can heal. Yeah, get that crit in there. That's what I'm talking about. Excellent. That was excellent. He heals five every turn. Ooh. Decreased dark damage, okay. Today you haven't lived until you played Binding of Isaac in bed on a giant Game Gear looking device. <laughs> it's funny. Is it really good on the Steam Deck? A lot of people have been getting the Steam Deck lately. You in love with it? That's good. the happenstance for attack. I do not want him hitting me harder. I don't like that at all. She's not dead. I mean, I'm fine if, if Black wants to do that every single turn for the rest of the fight. I'm more than okay with that. Because it will never kill. And it can only attack once per turn. Especially with all these attack buffs we're getting from the happenstance cards. As much as I've complained about this game and the things I don't like about it, the music is just still like great. So that's great at least. That's beautiful.
bit of failure. I have AR Town Elico, but I never played it. Buffs, you jerk. Does that if only if we're fully buffed? I think I have both one and two. Pretty sure I have both. to heal than have him die. Okay, that's not great. I don't have anything to debuff that. I think I like the wild berry gummy savers actually. I think I like the regular ones better. save the star fall for after the defense to fade away anyway. I wish he was slightly faster, but that's okay. I'm going to use quality Omni Sav here. We are not going to use the buffs for the group buff because I don't want to get hit with that skill again, which I think Triggers uh, lack to use it every time everyone all has buffs. So I'm gonna opt 
to not do that. I'm just gonna get 20 damage up. I wanna save the two gems. Six damage is not worth two gems to me. Feels like that. Stop doing that. Okay, so he did it without us being buffed. But it's a good thing I didn't use a buff because it would have been a waste. Now I will start ball. Crit would have been great. That's okay. That's not good. I'm gonna use another. Nice have. Dangerous being in the 30s for health. That's where we're at. I need to just burn him down now. Queenie's been getting good rolls on that. It's too bad she's not critting. Why well, I grabbed them because she's a crit machine. I bet she's not right now. to heal him up, but I would rather have a crit. And he dodge, which is even better. So that is good. Uh, I am going to star fall. Theoretically, I should be able to kill here, but I'm going to be smart and heal. Because if something goes wrong, like they miss, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> There's no point to need to risk it like that. Not that serious. It's not a big do or die. Uh. If I use Shadow Bolt, then he can't Starfall and charge because he doesn't have a regular attack. And 5 to own attack for 99 turns. <laughs> Thank you, game. I appreciate that because he's never going to get to use it. Unless there's a phase 2, which there probably is. should be able to get the kill. Look at that, 45 attack. Alright, laddie. You got this? You got those? Is it in ya? No. See? That's why I healed last time. That's exactly why I healed last time. Oh, max roll. You got it in ya. Yes, she does. And she's got a crit to finish it off. Heck yeah, Queenie. This is why you go with Queenie and Blight anytime you can. They're just so good and leagues better than every other attendant in mating between the, the four of those groups. <sighs> Alright, is there a phase two? I hope not. Four fights in a row without a save. You emerge victorious from the bitter fight for the fate of the world. The spirits are vanquished, one and all. That wasn't the goal, though. But look at Slack. Lack spirals and flails through the air. Laddie catches its limp body. The benevolent spirit sovereign gave everything to do right by its fellow spirits. <laughs> Including trying to sacrifice all of humanity. Utterly spent, it lets out a plaintive moan in Laddie's arms. You return from your battle with the spirits to an altar room covered in heart scars. Speechless, your eyes dart from one area to the next 
trying to get your bearings. Black, its voice weak and quivering, explains what has become of the heart's domain. Because of the battle, heart scars now cover this world in its entirety. There is no telling what effect this will have on Laddie in the real world. There is only one way to heal them, Lack manages to say, before its small body convulses in a coughing fit. And that is... The same way you've healed all the other heart scars you imagine. The Maiden's Relic, you say. Black nods and mutters grudging praise. The dazzling light of memories of the Maidens suffuses the relic. This is the power that will heal the heart scars. Sailed the seeds and saw wondrous sights with our adventurous Azure ally. No doubt, the relic has also absorbed plenty of Laddie's memories of your hitherto adventures. Memories of the friendship she forged through hardship and delight as you sailed around the islands. Memories of her deep-rooted affection for her family, no matter how inelegantly they might have tried to protect her. Not only grief, not Laddie's mom. Memories of her love for you. Built over all the times, big and small, that you were there for each other throughout your journey. Friendship. Family. Love. Two of these three must be sacrificed in order to heal the heart scars. Oh, interesting. Wow. Laddie must make an awful choice with the memory she has been entrusted. Laddie's a, Laddie is about to erase her memories. You... Insist there must be another way. Laddie has gone through too much. There's got to be another way. You ask Black if there's another way to heal the heart scars, but it only averts its gaze. We'll try to stop her. Let's just see what this is. This better not give me a game over. It's probably a uh, illusion of choice. Desperate to help her hang on to her memories, you reach out to stay Laddie's hand. You've nearly grasped her wrist when your entire body seizes up as though bound by invisible chains. Laddie's heart wishes to be healed, and you cannot stop what is about to occur. Guess we'd leave her to it. You can see the determination in Laddie's eyes. Though your chest feels about to burst, you respect her wishes. Laddie smiles faintly, as if saying, I always admired your kindness. Why didn't y'all just have her say it? She got her voice back. Lax begins to float in the air. Approach the altar when you have made your choice. Dude, this is your fault, Lack. This is literally your fault. Don't float up to the air and be like, oh, approach when you've made your choice as if nothing... Like, you're not responsible for this. Laddie has made peace with her decision. Guide her to the altar. Oh, we were removed from the party. Okay. Touch the altar. I 
unlock the necessary requirements and unlock Spirit Sovereign's enemy story. And I save. I still cannot save. Okay. Power, please don't go out. I want to look at everything real quick. Gladio stands watch as Laddie exchanges a fist bump with Lavia. <laughs> Fila averts her gaze and hugs Laddie tightly. Hyde, too, keeps his eyes fixed on the ground beneath him. Lanka turns her back as Krim apologizes profusely. Perhaps the Ivory Maiden is not ready to face the choice Laddie's about to make. Tears well up in Queenie's eyes, which do not meet Laddie's. Blight, however, locks eyes with her and nods. Her parents pull Laddie close. They hold each other tight, trying to keep their family together just that much longer. Run your hands through Laddie's hair, cradling her head. She shuts her eyes as her lips curl ever so gently into a smile. Hmm. This is the best part of the game story right here. Even though it sucks so much. Yep, we'll speak with Lack. I hate you, Lack. You're such a piece of garbage. Have you made your choice? Lack asks. We wouldn't have had to if you didn't do what you done. Laddie nods. She wishes to heal her heart scars. That she must heal them. For the sake of the Maiden's Ritual, and thus, Omega Isle. Further, she is prepared to allow the spirits to take refuge within her, that they may be kept from harm. Black falters for a moment, as though it did not expect this answer, let alone one so firm. For agreeing to let the spirits take refuge in her heart renders Laddie but a relic. Eternal, yes, but neither dead nor alive as she watches time pass before her. If this is her will, it is, she insists. From the moment she was born a maiden, she thought she would never know love. And yet it has found her. And that is enough. She turns to her companions with a solemn look on her face. Priceless memories that emanate from Laddie's relic. Two of the three must be sacrificed in order to heal her heart scars. <sighs> Tough. Tough choice. The Maidens make sense because they're all like, well, we're Maidens. This is the duty we signed up for. Do what you gotta do. And I didn't like Lanka anyway. 
we barely got to see Fila. She sacrificed herself for her island, so it's kind of the same thing. Weenie's dead. I mean, these are her memories, obviously, so she would remember them across time, eternally. But, you know. And Lavia didn't have pay attention to her much, anyway. Like, Fila was the closest one that she had to a good friend out of all of them. I struggle with the family one because her mom, did, we did not get enough time. Her mom did nothing wrong. Grief is a jerk. So it's like, I want to erase them because of him. <laughs> but it's also her family. So it's like we could have us be erased. But we know we got a game over whenever we turn down her love. So it's like she would probably want to remember him forever. Like he's the whole reason why all of this happened. He brought her to the altar. He brought her across the seas in the Bon Ven. He let her meet these friends. Well, I mean, he didn't let her meet the friends, but them traveling together is how they met all the friends. Them traveling around, building up her confidence and willing to face the world is what let her reconcile with her dad. Like, it feels kind of messed up and super tragic to take him out. If the mom wasn't here, it'd be no-brainer to just wipe Grief out. I wouldn't even think about it. Sorry, maidens. Laddie turns to her loyal companions. Some are silent. Others shed tears. There is a serene smile or two. And Laddie offers her own awkward grin. Until next time, Laddie says. Her choice of parting words must mean she doesn't believe this goodbye is forever. We can wipe us out because if we wipe us out, we're not dead. And even if she becomes like a relic that's just sitting watching time pass eternally, I feel like he would still go and visit her relic every day. Like, it's a tragic, kind of sad kind of way to do it. But I think, like, I mean, he's going to still feel what he feels, and so he can bring that love back to her. And she'll slowly start to either remember or, from inside the relic, gain those feelings back by seeing his devotion of sticking around. It feels kind of wrong to erase the, the memories of her mom. As much as I don't like Reed, I don't really want her to lose her memories of her mom. Her mom might say, 
Like, I can see both of them being like, we get it. Greeth is, as much of a jerk as he is, he still has his, like, cool side where he'd be like, yeah, that's my daughter. You know, do what you gotta do. We're fine. And she's a maiden. And we don't know what it means to sacrifice. She might have done something somewhat kind of maybe similar. Who knows? But she would understand because that's her daughter's duty as a maiden and that's what it is. But at the same time, I still feel like... I think we're gonna just erase us. Dang, that's a really tough choice, but... That's what we're gonna do. Before Laddie's lips can form a final farewell, you rest a tender kiss upon her forehead. This is annoying because you can't save here, so you can reload and then you know, get rid of the one that you saved to see what the dialogue is. That's kind of frustrating. You gotta do all the fights again for that. It's rude. You both stand in silence for a moment, keenly aware of each other's feelings. That was a tough decision. She was doing everything for them. So she deserves to keep them in the end. So you have chosen to sacrifice friendship and love. With these shall the heart's domain be healed. Fed by the power of Laddie's memories, the relic glows ever brighter. She steps up to the altar and raises her relic in the air. A divine light erupts from the top of the tower at the center of the heart's domain. It touches every corner of the domain. A lighthouse in the darkest of seas guiding wayward souls to shore. The Maiden's Ritual. Laddie dreamt of it ever since she was a young girl, and now it is done. She is a Maiden. Omega Isle and the spirits shall know peace. Laddie closes her eyes. holding fast to the memories of her family. On the island saved by her hand, she shall slumber forevermore. Wait, what? They said she was going to watch time pass forever, not sleep forever. I would have chose differently. <laughs> Man. And that's how it ends. <laughs> well, it's finished. The story ended just not just did not make sense at the end of the day black did not have to be accountable for any actions whatsoever 
Black starts this whole thing off. Have Maddie, or Maddie, <laughs> Laddie, go to be a maiden. We go on all these trips to try to save everything. We get the relics. Black betrays us, becomes this big burly, and it's like, I'm doing this so I can save my spirit friends, because they shouldn't have to suffer. And then even in the end, after we beat him, he still gets what he wants. Laddie decides to hold all the spirits within her and turn herself into a relic that can no longer do anything ever. Because he shattered her heart domain. Like, it's his fault. She has to make this choice. And he's just like, oh good, you're going to host all of us in you anyway. Fantastic. It's like, we could have just asked about that and not had to have the broken heart scars and the shattered heart's domain. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, out of nowhere, he's just like, okay, I'm being helpful again. You know, I just had a big temper tantrum. Oh, you're giving me what I want? Fantastic. That's kind of garbage. It... Hmm. And it still doesn't make sense. Like, she's got all the spirits in her, so Omega I'll save. But what about every other island now? Like, East Island, they don't have a maiden, it's sinking. So all those folks had to abandon it. What about North Island? They've still got the Lanka and Krem maiden farm, but they have no spirit. So what is the maiden ritual going to do? The spirits in Laddie. That place is going to sink or get destroyed or get eaten by the owl. Eater too. What about the West? There's no point for them. The South was already saved because Fila sacrificed herself, but did that guardian spirit protect that island before? And then what about the future? So it just seems like every place on the planet, except for Omega Isle, is still going to die off. So is there peace for anyone, really? Does Maddie break the... Maddie, I keep saying Maddie because I'm mixing Maiden and Laddie. Um, does Laddie, like, break the cycle of Maidens needing to be a thing? But if the spirits are all inside of her and she's sleeping so she can't go do anything, what is protecting the islands from whatever disasters are going to happen? It just doesn't make sense to me. Sometimes there's no concrete answers. I get that. But at the same time, this just makes no sense. Like, sometimes, yeah, it's like the, you leave the ending open to your interpretation. But the whole point of having maidens and spirits was to protect the islands. If the, if the spirits are all inside Mad Laddie and she's sleeping, there's no spirits protecting the other islands. So they're all going to die. So is this just supposed to be a tragic story of every island dying except for the one island that treated Laddie so badly that they don't even deserve to exist? She, she sacrifices the rest of the world to save her home island that, out of kindness, threw her to the wolves where she could have just died anyway? That's kind of a trash story, if that's the case. And maybe other folks like it, I don't. And that's fine if other folks like it, and it's fine that I don't. I just don't like... I just feel like the story was just so non-cohesive in so many places and spaces. Like, even with Beasts of Burden, which I still give a 9.5, I still had questions about New Terra and how that was supposed to play out and things like there were still some inconsistencies in the story but it was a really well done story and i liked it this game the story just made no sense in so many spots and it was just really frustrating it just wasn't a fan like the combat was fine it was harder than beast of burden and it's annoying that you can't like paralyze bosses or whatever because it made those skills useless but it w i didn't really have a problem with it it was okay like Beast of Burden could have had this combat, and I still would have given it a 9.5 because the story was really good. This game, the story alone makes me rate this game like a 5 out of 10. Combat was good. Combat, I would give it like a 7. The music, easily like 9.5 out of 10. 
but the story is just so bad for me. I just didn't like it. Like, there was no point having the other Maiden Relics have stats on them and then upgrade. There was no point to upgrade those Maiden Relics. No one could use them. Now, maybe there's a New Game Plus and you can use them or something. I don't know. I'm not going to be doing a New Game Plus on this game ever. Um, but it just made no sense to have, you know, Fila's relic level up and gain new stats. It didn't go anywhere. It didn't help anything. Like, why waste the design on that? There's just there's just so many things that just yeah. I don't know. I've ranted about the game enough. The story's over. It's done. Next game. What lack? Time continues its inexorable march. Okay. A gentle breeze guides Wave softly to the shores of Alpha Isle, as it came to be known after it escaped certain doom. Interesting. A young boy stalks carefully through the grass. He clutches a large tree branch in his hand, his eyes fixed on a monstrous shade. He has chased it here after finding it near the village and taking it upon himself to end it before it can do any harm. How does he stick it to the monster? He gets up in its face. He sneaks up to the shade and lets fly with a mighty swing of his branch. But the shade deftly dodges and flees. The monster seems to be heading toward the nearby spire. All the stories say the spirit spire was built to protect the... All the stories say... The spirit spire was built to protect the island. It's really old, but nothing bad has happened to the island in a long time. So, it must be working? Hunt down the monster that retreated into the spire. Okay. The boy pushes the large door open and enters. He could have sworn the monster ran in here. He'll just have to keep looking. Sunlight pokes through the gaps in the crumbling stone walls. The monster is nowhere to be found. The boy scans the room again, more carefully this time, his eyes landing on an altar. Upon the altar slumbers the maiden that brought peace to Alpha Isle. At least that's what everyone says. Beside her lies a single sword. Covered in rust as it is, it must have stayed by the maiden's side since the moment she closed her eyes. It looks nice enough though. Maybe it belonged to the guy from the legend. Supposedly, he risked his life to protect the maiden. The boy's eyes drift from the sword to the maiden's face. 
He stares for a moment, captivated. He wonders if she's dreaming. If she is, it must be a good dream. Because a small smile flickers across her lips. There you have it. The journey of a maiden who feared herself worthless across the seas and through her own heart. And so, your long voyage has come to an end. What did you think of this tale? None of these are accurate. Oh, that's a shame. Well, be that as it may, you have my unending gratitude for allowing me to tell it to completion. Oh, how I hate to think this is the end of our travels together. But I'm certain we'll meet again in the world of Voice of Cards someday. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. You can build the necessary requirements and unlock Laddie Raymond of Woe's flip side story and unlock the Young Navigator's flip side story. Hidden event is now available in the Southeastern Seas. How do I get to the South Eastern Seas? Did I have to do a new game plus for that? You know what? I don't even care. I'm done with this game. I'm going to turn on the other one. Give me a second.